Good morning. I uh, hope I didn't interrupt your breakfast uh, beer. Um, anyway, I'm here on behalf of... Uh, uh, well, bless you. <laughs> I'm, I'm here on behalf of uh, Carl's Used Car Emporium, and I hate to tell you, today is the... You just became eligible for a free wash and wax. <laughs> Not you, your car. <laughs> so if you don't mind, I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna take these keys, like this, here. Hey, world's greatest lover. <laughs> I lost in regionals. <laughs> So then I told this giant that I was just going to wash his car. Then I took his keys and I got the hell out of there. And it was great. Man, nothing good like that ever happens doing construction. What about when Cecil Minton fell in the cement mixer? I guess. You know, you should come with me sometime. That is, if you don't mind dancing with danger. <laughs> to me again why I have to be wearing a hot dog suit. <laughs> See, Barry, it's a diversion. See, we set up a hot dog stand on the side of the street. Guy pulls over, gets out for his free hot dog. I jump in, I'm out of there. I still don't get why I'm wearing a hot dog suit. <laughs> That's just for my entertainment. Now, the plastic deer and the smoke bomb were our friends today. Why are we turning on them? Because a person holding a hot dog is not a person throwing a brick at my head. Mm. Well, there's just one small flaw in your plan. I ain't dressing up like a wiener. Excuse me? You got a brick thrown at your head? How'd you hear that? You insisted on the cheap single-pane windows? Look, I didn't mean actual brick. Uh, throwing a brick's like repo talk for good job, you know? It's kind of like, uh, hey, honey, you, uh, you really threw a brick with that meatloaf last night. Rodney. Okay, on my last job, some guy threw a brick at the back window, busted it out. It's no big deal. That is a huge deal. You could have gotten hurt, and if you got hurt, I'd kill you. <laughs> you know, I know you meant for that to be sweet, but it kind of came off like a threat. <laughs> Honey, I can take care of myself. These deadbeats don't scare me. Rodney, that is it. Now the bricks are flying at your head. Your repo days are over. I forbid you from doing it anymore. You forbid it? Oh, you heard me. <laughs> Well, that's interesting, because I forbid you to take the money from your dad. You did it anyway. I'm not talking about this anymore. Yeah, well, I'm not quitting that job. <laughs> we got a debt to pay off, and this is how I'm doing it. And I forbid you to forbid me from doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Two-tone silver sedan, red interior. <laughs> Chop it up, big boy. Looks like your unholy reign as employee of the month is over. <laughs> Give me another assignment. Make it a hard one this time. I'm getting bored. There's the address. You know, if you told jokes half as good as you repo cars, you'd be a millionaire. Yeah, and if I was a millionaire, I'd buy you a toupee made out of something that never had a saddle on it. <laughs> Hi, 
Trina, how long you been standing there? Oh, I just got here. Wow, employee of the month again. They must really love you, Daddy. Yeah, thank you, darling. What brings you down to the lot? Well, um, don't tell Rodney, but I need a favor. Could you give him a safer job? I love you, sweet pea, but I just can't do that. What do you mean? You know, I don't mind giving money to my family. Hell, I've been bankrolling your sister ever since I built her that dance studio in the basement. How come you never built me anything? Well, you got your tonsils out. <laughs> I never played favorites. Listen, if you and Rodney got an issue with this job, that's your business. No, I'm just afraid that he's gonna get hurt. It'll hurt him more if you make him stop. You know what? You're making him feel like half a man. And that's my job. <laughs> Seriously, he's doing exactly what he needs to be doing right now. I don't understand that. Oh, honey, it's a man thing. He's supporting his family, and I gotta respect him for that. And don't tell him I said so. Okay. And I won't tell him you moose your eyebrows either. <laughs> another pair of sunglasses. What you doing over there? Repoing your car. You're six months past due. I was gonna pay that note. I just uh, hit a bit of a rough patch finding work. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but the law is the law. Dad, what's going on? He's taking the car. Get your toys out of the back seat. You know, uh, I can't do this, eh? I can't take your car. Isn't that your job? To hell with the job. What are you doing? How are you gonna find work without your car? That's my problem. I'm trying to help you here. I mean, this is great, I can't even find a job. You got one and refused to do it. Don't tell me how to do my job. Just repo the car, I don't need your damn charity. Yeah, well, don't call it charity. Look, I know where you're coming from. The hell you do! Sometimes you gotta swallow your pride and let somebody help you. Now, how is that helping? You don't have to feed that fish. No! Boys, come here, give me a kiss. I missed you so. Ew, a P, you alert! <laughs> and Charlie didn't make us take baths! <laughs> Or brush your teeth, and we got to be off the balcony. <laughs> Wait, you didn't brush your teeth? All right, well, the water's back on, boy, so get to scrubbing. Aww. You know, they could have not taken baths here. And what is with the balcony? They did it first. <laughs> I'll just go help them with their baths. <laughs> Hey, honey. Hey. See you survived another day on the streets. Yeah, more or less. Listen, um, I've been thinking about it, and I don't like it, but if you want to be a repo man, you can be a repo man. What changed your mind? Well, I talked to Daddy, and he got me to see your point of view. Do you have another Daddy I don't know about? <laughs> well, now I know how important this job is for you, so you can just you keep doing it. No. I'm done. I don't want to be a repo man anymore. Why? Honey, there are people like us out there. We're only one missed bill away from having our stuff repossessed ourselves. Oh, sweetie, don't worry about that. Our stuff's not nice enough to be repossessed. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish we didn't have to struggle all the time, you know? Yeah. I promise you it's not always going to be like this. But until then, I guess we're lucky to have a guy like Carl to help us out. It's just too bad that our guy like Carl is actually Carl. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. And I think Daddy's sweet on you, too. Mm, I don't know about that. When I called him to quit today, he goes, Woo! Welcome back, you big loser! <laughs> Hi, 
I talked to my supervisor and I have good news. I'm in. Who is it? Repo Man! I'm sorry, ma'am. You're late on your payments again. Oh, Repo Man. Isn't there anything I can do? Well, there is one thing. Okay, I'm sorry. What? This repo thing is not working for me. <laughs> okay, how about uh, quarterback cheerleader? Astronaut naughty Martian? Construction worker sexy architect? What's that? Hard hat, tool belt, no pants. I'll start making up the plans. Yep, here it is. Most important meal of the day, breakfast. I don't like eggs. I think that's because last time I used chicken eggs, and this time I'm using coyote eggs. Cool. Give me a break. Coyotes don't lay eggs.